All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next belt is your feature belt of the night, brought to you by Spastic Signs, who have done this awesome vinyl for us here in the cage. If you've been to our shows, you notice we have some new vinyl. Shout out to Spastic Signs at the Bristol Mall for the work on our vinyl. Be sure to call them up if you need any work done. This will be a catch weight at 140 pounds. Please welcome to the cage first, fighting out of the Hogs Red Corner, Chris Wright Jr. Here we go with Chris Wright Jr. Uh, uh, another, like, the thing about Chris Wright fighting, you know, my teammate and good friend Jonathan Pierce. Before Chris moved to Knoxville, I mean, uh, at, away from Knoxville to Rufus Sport, me and Chris was great friends. You know, he would come and stay at my house, and we would train together a couple times a week, and, you know, I always kept in touch and still keep in touch. You know, I'm, I, I'm definitely going for Jonathan, no doubt, but – same time, you know, it, it, it sucks when you have to pick between such well, you know, yeah, cool people. You know, with these kind of guys, we're all a family, you know, it almost seems like, yeah. you know, guys that are fighting together around each other and all that kind of thing. And so, uh, you know, but that's the thing with JSP, man. When he goes to fight, he can like you or whatever, but, dude, he's going to, like I said before, he's going to stare through you like Michael Myers. Yeah. When you get in and fight, he's there to beat you. When he's yeah. training with you, he's there to beat you. Not only, not only is he, he's there to, like, JP literally is in there to hurt you. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, a lot of guys got here and fight. Like, I mean, I, I, I guess myself, I could say I'm kind of in there to not really to hurt anybody. I'm really not. I'm in there to win the fight. But JP yeah. could honestly probably care less. Yeah. He just wants to go in there and he hurt you. I, I don't think this is what it is. You don't fight angry. Yeah. You don't fight angry. No. Yeah. But JSP, he doesn't fight crazy angry, yeah. but he looks like a guy that you just took his lunch money. Yeah. He got bullied, yeah. and now yeah. he's going to come back and get his. Yeah. Yeah, I could agree. You're going to take it back. Perfect analogy, Casey. And, I mean, and when he good. looks into, into the eyes of his opponent, he sees, and we've talked extensively yeah, because when I grew up, I had some bullying issues when yeah. I was real young. He had the same thing, yeah. uh, and uh, he sees that when he sits <laughs> in the cage. I'd like to see somebody try to bully JP now and him, <laughs> and him uh, you know, not only – Dump him on, dump him, but but honestly, probably either you know destroy them with ground and pound or, or, or take their arm off one of the two. So, uh, you know, JP's downfall in, in all of his fights have been his jujitsu. Uh, you know, his two losses have come from really really quick rear naked chokes when somebody says they can out wrestle him. But you know, Chris, I don't think Chris can out wrestle JP. But Chris has the jujitsu. Uh, you know, I, I think he's a purple belt, possibly a yeah. brown. And, you know, it definitely has the, the capabilities of submitting J, uh, JP. So well, I mean, you've seen him do pulling off Uma Platas in yeah. his fights. You've seen well, a lot of crazy techniques and He so does forth. rubber guard. Yeah. So, but I will say this with JP, and I've, I've noticed this, you can get JP in spots. You know, I mean, it, it's possible, but he never stops. So it's hard yeah. to hold his back. It's he's hard yeah. to, That kid you know, never gets tired. He just goes, no. goes, 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 and you waste all your energy you, trying to, to put him away, you, and then you got nothing left. Yeah, your heart's yeah. gone. You know, honestly, uh, you know, JP was 1-0 and then fought a guy, a veteran, and Anthony Morgan. And JP come off, you know, his broken jaw, and here comes Chris in the cage. And I'll get back to that right after the JP walks out. Now, please welcome his opponent, fighting out of the OEB blue corner, Jonathan Pierce. JSP making his way to the cage, and he has got that look, as you talked about, Casey. But what I was saying is, is he, he, he took on the veteran Anthony Morgan and literally trained seven days for the fight. Yeah. He literally didn't. He wasn't in the gym like he should have been. And Anthony He's, Morgan just yeah. beat Dustin Payne, yeah. former UFC veteran. And, 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 and JP now has come and has been in the gym for 26 straight or 30, 36 straight days for this fight. He is in shape. He, do, he don't get tired. Okay. And here's the tale of the tape, you know. 2-0, and oh, taking on a veteran and Chris Wright, 8-5. Chris Wright's 30 years old, JP's 23, and on a two-inch height, uh, two inch height uh, difference, and they, this is a catchweight to the 141 pounds. Yeah, man, it's just amazing. I, I'm a big Jonathan Pierce fan. I, he's probably my favorite sparring partner, but I have a love-hate relationship let's, with it because you will be exhausted. Let's check out the tail of the tape. 8-5 to five versus 2-0, and 30-23. Oh, Yes, Casey, it is. 5-9 five, to 5-11, five, yeah. and they both weighed in at the same amount, 141. Yes, they did. <laughs> Here he goes. JP did tell me he was a little nervous before this fight. You know, he just, he, everybody has them nerves. He's, he's probably shook them off now. He's going to go out there and absolutely try to destroy Chris Wright. And Chris Wright's going to bring it too, you know, training with Rufus Sport. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your feature belt of the night, and we'll be at a catch weight of 140 pounds. Brought to you by Spastic Signs. With the action begins, your referee in charge of this bout is Jimmy Neely. Interesting first. Fighting out of the Hogs Red Corner. He enters the cage tonight with a record of eight wins with five defeats. He would have 141 pounds. 
fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and representing Rufus Sport, Super Q, the King, Christopher Rye Jr. Standing across the case tonight, fighting out of the OED blue corner the with an undefeated drill record of two wins with no defeat. <laughs> he would have 141 pounds, fighting out of Johnson City, Tennessee, and representing the evil MMA, Jonathan <laughs> J. S. I love it. I love it. He don't want to shake no oh, hands. Oh, wow. Man. He he just I, I literally have absolute cold chills right now. I'm yeah. literally about to pull my pants, on. goosebumps. It is more Chris, than on. Chris Wright saw the intimidation uh, antics by Jonathan Pierce. He didn't have none of it. Now it's on. Wow. Chris Wright with the red gloves, Jonathan Pierce with the blue gloves, and here we go. Oh, Bro. the light in the Whoa. middle. These guys are fighting. I'm, I'm really, God, really surprised. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. What's the, What's, the What's the neck? What's the neck? What's the neck? Hand. Oh, excuse me. I'm over here cornering and, and, and not fight and, and not commentating. JSP really has to watch that that guillotine choke. Chris Wright looking to sink it in. Thank you. JSP seems to have head avoided head pressure. it. JP needs some head pressure. He's doing a good job. Man, breathe, Adam. Breathe, brother. He's doing a good job trying to take JP Chris, down. Chris Wright with and the J takedown wow. on JSP. JP needs a right arm underhook. He does not need to give us back. We work on this a whole lot. Re right arm underhook, and he needs to stand up right here. Watch the guillotine. Watch the guillotine. Sorry. Just corner again. Cornering to myself. JSP back to watch his feet. The He's got a wrestler there switch right here. There we go. Oh, big shots by Chris Wright. Nice. Been working with Rufus Sport recently. Ooh, good uppercut from JP. What's the combo of right hand, left uppercut, right hand coming from JP as well? Now, this is the thing. Throw. Chris Wright, he's coming out strong. JP is still moving forward. Can Chris Wright keep it up for three nice rounds? Right and, and as we right already there. discussed, J, JSP this, is this, not tired. This, this, he is this, not tired. We Chris know Wright looks absolutely incredible right now. Yep. He looks absolutely yep. incredible. This is the best That's I've seen Chris yeah, ever look. Most of the time, Chris is very timid and backs up. You know, the remnants of Dustin Long does sometimes. And I just want to see if he can keep this up because that's what he's going to have to do to, to beat JP. Nice kick there by JSP. Big shots there by Chris Wright. And Chris Wright's confidence is growing right yeah. now as well. I think the takedown uh, over a, a guy who is, is known as a pedigreed wrestler uh, has to nice left upper has cut. to mean something. Right hand from Chris Wright. Chris Wright. JP tried to teep to the face there. Superman punch. We've got some glove disorder right here coming from JP. Mark Laws must have taped his hands. <laughs> Oh, he stunned oh, Chris Wright with the right hand there. Yeah, big shot. And Chris Wright immediately and wrestles. Chris Wright with a takedown. Butterfly nice hooks take from JP. By, by Chris Wright there. JP needs a left underhook here or a right, whichever one he prefers. Watch the right arm bar. What do you think about the submission game of JSP? Uh oh, watch, watch out. Well, heel hook. Watch the heel hook. He needs to turn it. That, that looks deep. Submission defense. No. Good. That heel hook looks deep, actually. It, it could be. Kick him in the face if you have to. Oh, here we go. Still in a bad spot is JSP. Oh, God, JSP. his ankle looks like it's turned under. The, the thing about a footlock is, though, if you don't get it, a lot of times you end up in a bad position. It could, it, yeah. it could be a bad spot. Yeah, he keeps turn cranking on it, too. And it's going to be JP's hard for JSP. He's doing a good job turning right there. Spin out, watch, though. watch for the calf crusher, though, coming here from, from Chris, possibly. God, that's a bad position right there for JP. I didn't uh, know. Like JP that. ends right, up in a good go. spot. There yeah. we go. Now, possibly taking the momentum here. He needs a pass. He needs a pass. He needs to stay out of the guard of Chris right here. Sorry, I'm cornering more than more than I am compensating, but it's uh, it, it, the next two. The, this one and the next two will be. You'll hear me doing a lot of that. <laughs> JP's doing time. a good job. Stand here. Chris Wright caught got... underneath the pressure of JSP. Now, can he deal with Ooh, being nice, on the bottom nice. of his opponent? Now, this nice. is where JSP Big wants to be, shots man. Here. Standing back up. Get, do not give your back up. You get back up. Wow. <laughs> And JSP drives JP. back down. Good spot. Look for a crucifix. crucifix. Nasty elbows. Elbows. Nice, JP. Nice. Great spot for JP. JP does Chris not Wright get looking for oh, a set go. Go. Looking to nope. seek it. Look at the oh, ring. He's, 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 he's got it in. He's got it in. He's got it in. Got to look for those hooks. Nope. And he's going to go to Mount. This is where Nate Landwehr finished Chris right at was from Mount right here. Chris, he cannot escape Mount. JP's Mount is not phenomenal. But he's doing a dang good job right now. I don't know that anybody has ever worked Chris Light right like this. 
This Rim is a, yeah, very nice. Excellent spot. Looking for, for the JP choke again. This JP might be it. Be careful. The angle's you off slightly, but. Just under a minute to survive. Is Chris Wright? He's a flattening back out with what JP JSP is now relentless out. here. Chris Wright's gonna have to react to this fight. It's gonna be done. Yeah, and it's there done. It is. It's done. Wow. JSP what? has won round one over Chris Wright. Great control by JSP. My gosh. Wow. Absolute dominant performance. Unbelievable performance there from JP. That was absolutely incredible. Chris Wright put up a put up a heck of a fight and beautiful, yep. beautiful job. I mean, I, I I'm at a loss for words. You know, seeing my team yeah. perform. Here's the replay, and, and I feel like we saw one of the best Chris Wrights. I mean, the oh, best, yeah. really. That, that, that Chris is, Wright did amazing. I, I couldn't agree more. Chris Wright come out and he done what exactly he needed to do to beat JP. Yep. He, he he wrestled JP. He stood in and traded with JP, and then JP was just able to get on top, take his back, and just land some brutal. He probably landed control, probably. beautiful control. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about arena combat here. I'm I'm pumped about it now. I got prime time and I got JSP right here in front of me. That's my teammate right there, boys. Such a good kid, man. We sit there and talk forever about how mean he is in the cage and, and how bad he wants to hurt the guy, but heart of gold, really. <laughs> Let me tell you a quick story real fast guys. before they announce this thing. Uh, before JP won his first pro fight in Elizabeth, and I was the main event that night, the first one of the maybe the one of the first times we fall in the car together. He comes back there and like starts thanking me and starts crying. And here but, I am about to fight, and I start tearing up myself. I was next up and started tearing <laughs> up. Yeah. And Tyler was standing beside me and started tearing up. Back to Cody Gwynn for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referees immediately has called a stop to this fight. Four minutes and 26 seconds into the first round. Your winner by TKO, Jonathan J.S.P. Harris. JSP with Adam Primetime Towns. You're going to see that at Arena Combat. They're going to represent Valor Fights in the Battle of the MMA Moguls. All right, I'm here with your winner, Jonathan Pierce. Man, that was an awesome fight. Your opponent attacked several submissions. You were able to escape those beautifully. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, I cut a lot of weight for this fight coming in. I really didn't feel that ready, but you know what? Came on, pulled off the finish, and... You know, without God, none of this would have happened for me. Well, I noticed your ankle got tugged on and kind of tweaked here and there. Do you feel like that's going to affect you at all in arena combat here in a couple weeks? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm excited, you know. I put in the work, and that's what's going to matter most. Awesome. Is there anybody tonight you would like to thank? Uh, first off, I'd like to thank my fiance, Whitney. Uh, helped me go through all this. I want to thank my... Uh, Biggest sponsor, uh, Pure Life Chiropractics. I want to thank Kyle Lander. Um, I appreciate everybody who came out tonight and uh, supported me through everything I've been through. Everybody give it up for your winner, Jonathan Pierce.